Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Sagarika Bhattacharya, a student of MSc Food Science and Nutrition in Avinashi Lingam Institute for Home Science and Higher Education for Women. Today's nutrition communication session will be on the topic of sleep apnea. So what is sleep apnea? Sleep apnea is a medical condition where one repeatedly stops and starts breathing while sleeping. There are several types of sleep apnea, but by far the most common type is obstructive sleep apnea or OSA. This type of apnea occurs when the throat muscles intermittently relax to the point of collapse and block the airway during sleep. A noticeable sign of obstructive sleep apnea is snoring. It occurs in about 3% of normal weight individuals but affects over 20% of obese people. In general, sleep apnea affects men more than women. However, its rates increase sharply in women after menopause. Untreated sleep apnea causes breathing to stop repeatedly during sleep, causing loud snoring and daytime tiredness, even with a full night's sleep. Now coming to the types of sleep apnea. Sleep apnea is a generic term that includes any disorder that causes pauses in breathing during sleep. It may affect someone at any age but the prevalence of sleep apnea increases beyond middle age. There are three types of sleep apnea, which include firstly obstructive sleep apnea, which is the most common and is caused by a blockage of the airway during sleep. In obstructive sleep apnea, throat muscles relax and a person's tongue and soft palate collapse against the back of the throat during sleep, thereby closing the airway. The second one is central sleep apnea or CSA which is much rarer and is caused by the brain failing to send the right signals to the muscles that control breathing during sleep. There is no airway blockage in CSA. And the third one is mixed sleep apnea, which is complex sleep apnea syndrome. As the name implies, it is a combination of both OSA and CSA. Now, since our main topic of focus is obstructive sleep apnea, obstructive sleep apnea is the most common type. It is caused by a blockage of airway usually when the soft tissue in the rear of the throat collapses during sleep. Obstructive sleep apnea occurs as repetitive episodes of complete or partial upper airway blockage during sleep. During an apneic episode, the diaphragm and the chest muscles work harder as the pressure increases to open the airway. Breathing usually resumes with a loud gasp or body jerk. These episodes can interfere with sound sleep, reduce the flow of oxygen to vital organs and cause heart rhythm irregularities. This is an illustration showing normal breathing, snoring which is partial obstruction of the airway and OSA which is complete obstruction of the airway. Now coming to the symptoms of sleep apnea. Aside from the pauses in breathing which are typical of the disorder, there are many other common symptoms of sleep apnea. These include loud snoring, choking or gasping during sleep, fitness pauses in breathing during sleep, waking frequently to urinate which is called nocturia, teeth grinding or clenching which is called bruxism, dry throat or mouth upon awakening, nocturnal palpitations or a racing heart rate, night sweats, nocturnal heartburn, frequent nighttime awakenings or insomnia, Excessive daytime sleepiness, morning headache, short-term memory or learning problems, feeling irritable, poor concentration or tension, and changes in mood including depression. Not all of these symptoms must be present for the condition to occur and people with sleep apnea may present with different complaints like growth problems, attention deficit, hyperactivity disorders and restless sleep. Next coming to the causes of sleep apnea. There are a few common causes of obstructive sleep apnea. These situations could also make existing sleep apnea worse. These include being overweight or obese, including a large neck size, abnormal upper airway anatomy, including a deviated septum, using medications, drugs or alcohol, aging, sleeping on the back, REM or dreaming sleep and smoking. Now let's look into the relationship between obstructive sleep apnea syndrome and obesity. Obesity and sleep apnea are related through a bi-directional pathway. 
obesity aggravates sleep apnea risk through alteration in upper airway passages reduction in functional residual capacity and imbalance in the respiratory drive and load compensation relationship since sleep apnea causes reduced sleep duration and sleep fragmentation it may manifest as weight gain through effects on metabolism and appetite regulating hormones this is a diagrammatic illustration which shows the bidirectional pathway between obstructive sleep apnea obesity and sleep deprivation coming to the complications of obstructive sleep apnea there can be serious complications or consequences even lethal ones to untreated sleep apnea these include stroke or transient ischemic heart attacks coronary heart disease heart failure irregular heartbeat heart attack high blood pressure heart burn and reflux diabetes erectile dysfunction concentration and memory problems or dementia depression or even sudden death so to summarize some of the major consequences of untreated sleep apnea these include depression diabetes heart failure high blood pressure and concentration and memory problems lastly let's look at the management of sleep apnea in mild cases of obstructive sleep apnea conservative therapy helps in managing the condition overweight persons can benefit from losing weight even a 10% weight loss can reduce the number of apneic events for most patients however losing weight can be difficult to do with untreated obstructive sleep apnea due to increased appetite and metabolism changes that can happen with obstructive sleep apnea individuals with obstructive sleep apnea should avoid the use of alcohol and certain sleeping pills which make the airway more likely to collapse during sleep and prolong the apneic periods in some patients with mild obstructive sleep apnea breathing pauses occur only when they sleep on their backs in such cases using a wedge pillow or other devices that help them sleep in a side position may help people with sinus problems or nasal congestion should use nasal sprays or breathing strips to reduce snoring and improve air flow for more comfortable nighttime breathing avoiding sleep deprivation is also important for all patients with sleep disorders so that's it with today's session thank you for listening patiently don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like and share the video